Hi team, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about progress or status bar while filling a form. So let's get started. So before jumping into the topic, suppose you have a form where you have around 4 fields. When users fill first field, you want to show that 25% of the form has been filled. Then when user fills in next two fields, you want to show like 75% of the form is filled. So it's like uh, you are updating dynamically uh, a particular uh, percentage of the form that needs to be filled. So that you want to show in a pictorial representation like this particular form has been filled. For example, if I go here, I have created a case called as progression and here uh, I have two forms. Now I am filling my name. Now I am filling another value, see, the completion status has been updated to 50, now I am clicking continue, I have selected this, I have selected this. So all the values that are required has been filled over here and we are saying user that it is good to submit the form. So how we are achieving this and what are the rules that are involved uh, in this particular execution. So for that. Uh, we need uh, to define one control and we need a text file, a CSS file. Then we need to create a section and in that we need to refer this control and after that we need a data transform to update like this particular status should be this percentage when a respective field has been updated. So technical implementation is as I have said earlier this is CSS file progress bar CSS. This file I would be uh, sharing you with a link. So in this CSS I am mentioning like this is the background color of this uh, and this uh, I need it to be a striped one and uh, on the UI in the control I want to show that this particular uh, progress bar should be displayed. That progress bar I am referring with a particular CSS tag. So in CSS, this is a, these are nothing but tags or classes and these are all the values that are different for this respective class and these are all the elements like how the, how much height I need to display. Suppose if I'm displaying some text, how it should be and what is the transition and all. This is one CSS. CSS file you can create in a way like go to records explorer technical scroll down here you can see text file right click here and when you click uh, create it would be asking the name and app name directory you have to give web wb and uh, file extension is uh, css as i want a css file so in that way I have created this particular CSS file. Now uh, I need a control. So for control uh, I have gone to UI user interface. In user interface I created a control rule. Progress bar is a control. And in this I am referring the CSS that I have created. And in this I am referring to the class. Stripe that to this particular class. I have defined in the CSS. Now I have created a case type called as progression and here I have given two forms and in one form this is a section so I have given name gender and this is completion status I have created a control right I have referred this so just drag and drop on text input and you click on change and go to other there you can select for the control that you have created here it is progress bar okay in the same lines i have created uh, another section for a consent so these two are like a checkboxes boolean and here i have uh, uh, referred same property completion status and here the control is progress bar that we have defined previously Okay, 
this is the first implementation and second one so when you fill in name you are updating it to 25 percent when you fill in gender you are updating it to 50 percent how we are reaching that so i have created one data transform called as update progression so i have created when rules like when has name so in this we will be checking whether name is not empty suppose if name is not empty then i'm updating completion status uh, property to 25 percent and in the same fashion for gender 50 percent for terms and conditions and five percent and for that acceptance privacy policy 100 percent and after that i am going back section and in this section if you go here go to actions i am posting the value and here i am doing a refresh of the section so at that time when you take your cursor from out of this particular thing you can uh, see a refresh would be happening in backend and i'm calling this data transform that i have defined so first time it goes here and it checks this one rule and it updates this as these are not still filled it won't be updating these values to 50 percent and five percent so in the same way uh, in gen for gender also in actions i'm referring that particular data transform update progression and this is like uh, the control that i have shown you and this property only we are updating in the data transform so we need to make sure that we are referring this completion status in the same way for uh, this checkbox also refresh the section calling the data transform and same for the privacy policy as well so once you are done with the changes go here click on save and run and uh, you can see once i fill i just change my cursor to another way see the value is updated and it is updated As I have selected this first, it has reached 100%. So this is the simple way of implementing progress and bar or a status bar while filling a form. Suppose you want to define some other color or some other grays over here. Go to your CSS and in CSS you can see background color F5, F5, F5 and 009933. You can update your background color and do your changes based on your requirement. And if you can see in few applications, we have uh, like a round shaped one in a clockwise you'll be showing. So they too have separate CSS file in the same lines. Hope you have learned a new concept. Thanks for watching this video. Happy learning. Please watch, subscribe and share to your colleagues.